So now I will be tracing again the neckline curve, the corner of the neckline curve and the shoulder line. I will be tracing the shoulder line and the corner of the shoulder line and the armhole curve. The corner of the armhole curve and the side seam. Then I can mark the original tip of the bust point there and here I can trace the original waistline and the adjusted waistline and the corner of the bottom side seam and the corner of the adjusted waistline here. Can you see it? Now I will be shaping the neckline curve by connecting the markings. Then I will again connect the shoulder line and connect the armhole curve line this way. Okay, so now I will plot the dark lines which I forgot to do. I marked the first dart and the last dart this way. And then I will connect this dart point to that tip of the bust point. I will connect this dart point to that tip of the bust point. Now here, since I would like to draft the center front neck dart, I will connect these two points together. You see this is the corner of the side seam and the corner of the original level of the waistline. I will connect this to the original level of the waistline. Then I will connect this point, the adjusted the easing for the stomach, to the waistline. Now I'll be folding this dark line and I will align it to the upper dart line. Now I will connect the side seam points and this one I will cut the center front neckline dart this way. I will just pin this. Make sure that the pattern paper will not move while I'm taping it. It has to be flat. Now I will tape this together and this one too I'll tape this together now for the center front neckline dart I will go up one inch actually there's no hard and fast rule here it depends on how you want your dart to look when it's sewn together so I can connect this point, the neckline, or the dart point here, to the dart point here. So this will be our dart for the center front neckline dart. So this is the center front neckline dart. So I will fold this dart line, press this point so that it will be well aligned to the other dart line. Of course, you can use a thinner paper if you want to. Okay. So, I will cut the neckline curve this way. The shoulder line. And here, this is the excess of my extra paper. I'll cut it. I'll follow the center front line of the front bodies. There. Then I'll cut the adjusted waistline. I'll cut the outline of the side seam. And I'll cut the outline of the armhole curve. Okay. This now is the pattern for the center front neckline dart. 